What's going on, everybody? Rick here. I'm coming at you from just outside of the Raleigh, North Carolina area. Got a delivery in the uh, uh, Durham area, right outside of Raleigh, North Carolina area. And then I'm going to be going up to Portsmouth, Virginia to drop off the last of the deliveries tomorrow and then pick up my backhaul tomorrow afternoon. What's going on, David? Um, back to uh, Virginia. Or, I'm sorry, back to uh, Dallas, Texas. And uh, next week, my other brother and I are going to be doing teams. We haven't really found um, all that much team freight yet, but we're just going to freaking get it, dude. We're, we're uh, tired of uh, being at the whim of brokers, so we're just going to jump in the truck together and get out there and make our own freaking fate. Uh, but that's what I really wanted to talk to you guys about here tonight. Um, there's this flaw in the liberty movement um, that um, that people think that we cannot use money to further freedom. And everybody that makes money is automatically evil and will do evil things with that money that is 110 percent absolutely false everything is a two-sided coin it, it can be used for good or it can be used for evil and this includes money we in the liberty movement need to start building stuff with our money we can we need to begin making money we need to begin making our own platforms outside of facebook outside of youtube outside of all of these uh box uh multinational uh, corporations and stuff we need to start building solutions outside of all of the crap if we're sick and tired of all of our phones watching us and uh, not being able to turn off the microphone or the video camera with um, a lens cover or whatever you can cover it up build a new phone if we're tired of windows uh, or um, the apple um, operating systems then build your own if we're tired of all of the freaking junk gmo foods whatever then start your own restaurant uh whatever Be become a farmer do whatever build something build a business build something i mean th this is what we have to do we have to start building things to replace all of this crap that's being built right now right so if you have a cereal you want you know you know whatever food whatever it is just build it we need to start you know, getting in that mindset of actually building stuff ourselves and building our own platforms and then bringing the general public to our platforms rather than trying to use uh, their platforms, the deep states platforms, the New World Order's platforms, like Google and Facebook and all this crap. I mean, obviously, we're using it right now, and it's a good tool, but we can't solely depend on this stuff. We need to make money. I'm sorry, money is a good tool. We can buy stuff with it. We can create stuff with it. We can use it for good. We can use it to produce stuff. We can use it to actually manifest stuff in reality. We could use it to hire people and be able to, um, you know, have our employees work with us and for us to spreading liberty uh, across the country and um, that whole thing, right? So. Money is not bad. It's just how these people have been using money. All right? That, it's like everything else. A gun can be bad. Hell, sex can be bad. It's rape, right? Or it can be good. It can be used to, be, you know, procreate. Everything is a double-edged sword, including money. All right? So, seriously, even if you're, you know, 50s or 60s or whatever, start building something, man. Build up a business for the next five years and dump it. You know, sell sell it in five years and cash out. Just build something. You know what I mean? If you're young like me, I'm, you know, 32. I'm about to be 32, actually, Monday. If uh, you're, you're, you're young like me, start a business yourself and build something. It's not going to be easy, but suck it up. And do the hard work to build a business and create something in the name of freedom and liberty. All right, so you have money, so you have that financial foundation to be able to have your own platform, so you can 
bring people to your own platform in the name of liberty. We have gotten too comfortable using other people's um, uh, platforms. Uh, the other, the, and those people are a part of the deep state New World Order. Obviously, they're going to censor us because the, <laughs> freedom and liberty is not the agenda that they're wanting to push. But we're dependent on their operating systems and their platforms to push our message. But we need to completely freaking get them out of the picture and create our own systems, uh, both online and in real real person reality, like actually building stuff that is going to attract people in reality for freedom and liberty. We are just beginning to uh, have a few people out there beginning to do this. I mean, there's businesses that are patriots, you know, you know that are uh, uh, that are owned by veterans, and they, you know, are are beginning to lean towards the liberty patriotism side of things. But we just need to take it to the next level and have a whole hell of a lot of people that are in the liberty movement. Um, brand freedom in their own creative way and sell it to people that is the only way we are going to begin to um get uh freedom uh cool and trendy enough to be able to um hit the quote-unquote 100th monkey effect to really take off not just in america but globally i mean we are we are beginning to lose our foundation of freedom and liberty here um in america but a lot of the other uh you know parts of the world have never even seen liberty and freedom before ever and we need to we need to give them freedom we need to help them get freedom as well and a perfect way to do that is to be able to sell products and sell liberty or sell products and sell goods or whatever that brings in money that's going to help promote liberty okay um Alex Jones and Infowars is beginning to do this, selling products to be self self uh, self uh, funded. Um, some other people are beginning to uh, do this, beginning to make their own products, beginning to uh, uh, sell and promote and market their own products to help fund our operation or their operation, uh, so they can further liberty. And that's what we need to do. That's part of what my older brother and I are doing with this uh, trucking company right we began to see some of the stuff that alex jones was doing and others and said you know what we need to build a a, a business as a quote-unquote front to pull money in so we could have that uh, financial foundation to be able to build our own flat our own platforms ourselves so we can promote liberty in our own way and we, we won't have to beg for money from other people or donations we don't have to beg people to volunteer for us and and be at the whim of of volunteers and have you know, half the volunteers that said they would show up that we're counting on don't show up then we're fucked right that's the problem that we're having all right no what we are doing is we're creating an environment where you show up to work your job is to promote freedom that's how you earn your paycheck. If you don't want to do that, buy. If you don't want to put out, buy. If you want to, if you don't want to be efficient and effective, buy. If you don't want to have a work ethic, buy. If you know, if you don't want to get shit done, buy. You're fired. I'll find somebody else. Because that is how you're gonna own your paycheck. That's the barter. You promote freedom, I pay you. And that's how we are going to begin to push liberty and freedom, not just in the political aspect of things, but just in general right with the with you know product and, and everything right i mean sell hats whatever whatever it is you know sell freaking you know t-shirts sell whatever it is whatever your business is you know to whatever whatever aspect of freedom whatever part of freedom uh that you like second amendment stuff first amendment stuff the constitution property rights whatever it is just sell it you know brand it in your own a special way and then begin to sell it or piggyback freedom with another business um like we are doing a trucking company trucking has nothing to do with freedom right i mean but we're injecting 
freedom into trucking with our body wraps. We, you know, people can do that too with restaurants. You can have a restaurant, uh, liberty themed restaurant or whatever. The point is, we need to begin to bring money in the fight for freedom. Now, I know the Federal Reserve is unconstitutional. It's a private bank, the Rothschild style central bank owned by private uh, banking cartels like Wells Fargo and JP Morgan and blah, blah, blah. They sat and freaking came up with the scam to get uh, unconstitutional central bank in here at Jekyll Island in December 23rd, 1913. Some crooked ass senators, when everybody was at recess, passed the Federal Reserve Act of 1913 and IRS. And the 16th Amendment, and, you know, income tax and all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. And it's, you know, uh, the money's fake and everything like that. And it's just an illusion and blah, blah, blah. Okay, I get the whole freaking shit, but guess what? It still has purchasing power, right? You can still take a freaking uh, $1 bill and buy something with it. You can still, a one, one Federal Reserve note a $1 Federal Reserve note and, and buy stuff with it and be able to get something tangible in reality. And you can use that to pay for somebody's salary and people can still make a living off of it. So it's still useful. Even though it's fucked up and even though it's wrong and even though you have to pay taxes and some of that goes to the, to the Fed and everything like that and you help funding them and blah, 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 you're still building something. Think of the bigger picture. Think of the umbrella. Don't just whine, bitch, complain about how the Fed is is wrong. And if you use the Federal Reserve note, you're helping them. No. Think tactically. Think militarily. Think multidimensional. Think chess game, not checkers. Okay? Yes, you are giving a little bit of your money to the government. And it's probably going to be used for bad stuff. But what is the what is the rest of the money going to be used for? Good stuff promoting liberty and freedom. You're going to be, be able to uh, give uh, liberty-loving patriots a salary. And that's going to be, be bridging the gap. Because what's the huge problem? Why can the liberals go out there and all the freaking uh, Democrats go out there and protest for these women uh, marches and everything like that? Because they don't have jobs. Why aren't we out there? Because we have jobs, right? And it's hard for us to take care of our work every day. Take care of our families, take care of our properties, take care of our houses, take care of all that other stuff. And then on top of all of that, go and get involved in politics and get involved in all that stuff. But guess what? If your job every day, all day is to promote fucking liberty, hello, combine the two. That's efficient and effective use of time. And that's what we need to do. We need to merge people's everyday jobs with promoting liberty and freedom. Because all of us are working, right? And those of us who are who say that we're diehards, we're diehard liberty lovers, we need to begin to merge the two. And when we need to begin to be promoting liberty, we need to create that as our job so we can have the time to actually do it. It's not for the money. It's that we can, we can actually earn a living doing that so we can merge the two. So, you know, so we're not working a dead-end job or a regular career. And then trying when we have time to do stuff. No, that doesn't work. We need to freaking be uh, be proactive. We need to um, be more efficient and effective with our time. And the, and the only way to do that is to merge making money and making a living with promoting liberty. Okay? I hope to God that people actually listen and, uh, you know, um, reach outside their comfort zone and take the leap and start something it doesn't have to be big it doesn't have to be freaking um you know uh mcdonald's or a multinational corporation just a small business if you don't want to grow it past that whatever we'll start small man we'll we'll, we'll, we'll work together that's part of the reason why we want to do the podcast uh the long haul and for liberty show so we can have some people who are actually doing that on the show and use the Long Haul for Liberty platform to help promote other businesses, other liberty-minded businesses that are doing it, to help get people um, beyond the survival mode of, of, of a new business if they are wanting to leap into that so they can be successful. We, I mean, we need to start coming together and, and feeding off of each other to help each other win. I mean, 
I I hope somebody else uh, be, you know begins to do uh, the body wrap thing on the freaking trucking company, the trucking thing. I'll freaking promote their shit on Long Holland for Liberty. I don't care. I love competition. Makes me work harder. Keeps me honest. I mean, but we have to begin to, you know, to actually do that. We have to begin to think, um, think smart, think intelligent, and use our our tools and our resources, even though some of it might be bad in the greater good in the greater scheme of things, the umbrella, um, the overview, when you look at the whole situation, only a small little bit will be bad because we're, we're having to pay taxes to the government. Everything else, that oh, that big resource can be used for promoting liberty and freedom. Uh, what is this live show about? It's about uh, trucking and freedom and merging the two, uh, getting truckers involved in freedom, being able to just have another podcast show where we talk about freedom and liberty. It's going to be more psychological based and uh, mind based because that's uh, what I've been researching for the past, uh, I don't know, decade now, how um, you know people's minds work and why people's um, uh react in the way that they do and the, their decision making and the more uh, psychological operation aspect of it and social engineering aspect of it and kind of reverse engineering what they've been doing so we can begin to build our own platforms and use their own uh, tactics of uh, psyops and social engineering um, for freedom rather than for freaking tyranny and stuff right because it's all a mind game that's all this fucking thing is, is them controlling our minds and manipulating our minds and our perception of reality so they can steer that in the direction that they want it to, which is us voluntarily uh, submitting and surrendering to their authority and not even wanting freedom anymore and liberty, not even wanting to do all of the work. All that stuff is psychological operations and social engineering via music, TV, uh Hollywood, all that stuff. So the Long Haul for Liberty show is, is going to be a platform that teaches people and goes into some more of the details about their tactics as far as social engineering and psyops and how we could use all of their, uh, their techniques with all of that for freedom and liberty and to actually promote, um, uh, promote us uniting with, uh, with veterans, with the inner city blacks, with, um, the cops, with uh, the uh, Trump supporters, with everybody, just you know, creating movements, um, and using that platform of the podcast to be able to have people on to um, to kind of bridge the gap between all of the different quote unquote uh, ghettos that we've been uh, put in that. Um, Obama and all and Soros and everything like that have been trying to put us in right cops against blacks cops against veterans whites against blacks blacks against whites uh, Muslims against Christians and vice versa and uh, Mexicans and immigrants against white it's just, you know the whole thing no we're going to be using the long haul for liberty show to bridge that gap and to bring everybody together uh, under um, the umbrella of freedom and liberty because we're all people and we all need to begin to come together. It's obviously one of the oldest the tricks in the book that they use to control us is divide and conquer. Well, let's just not fucking play into that anymore. I mean, seriously, the people have yet to go into the inner city door to door and fucking sell freedom to the inner city blacks. I mean, seriously. Not even mainline conservatives have freaking done that shit. We've just freaking uh, bent over to the goddamn liberal Democrats saying, the black vote is ours. No, we own the black vote. No, you fucking don't, you idiots. You don't own shit, bitches. No, I'm going to go reach out to the freaking inner city blacks. Door to goddamn door if I have to. I'll go to Southside Chicago. I'll freaking get freaking dressed up in my goddamn Kevlar and freaking go to Southside Chicago and risk getting shot. Going door to door and freaking selling freedom. You know, fucking handing out constitutions to inner city blacks in there. 
talk about gun rights and property rights and all that shit? You're goddamn right I will. People need to actually start doing that shit. In reality. Start reaching out to these people. I mean, it's not that hard. All, all, all we got to do is begin communicating with each other. And that's what Long Holland for Liberty is going to do. So, um, Shipping Freedom, the uh, trucking company that my older brother and I are going to use, we're going to begin to grow into having full vinyl body wraps on the rigs. Each um, body wrap design is going to be based around a movement. And each one of those movements, we're going to be able to uh, rally people together for freedom and liberty in its own compartmentalized way. And then once we begin to build all of that stuff, we can begin uniting everybody, uh, each one of the freaking um, movements, whether it be cops or inner cities or veterans or Trump supporters or whatever. So... Once we begin to get each one of those individual groups focusing on liberty, then it's like, hey, guess what? There's these other groups out there that are also involved in liberty, and then that will help bridge the gap between the two. Because obviously they're trying to get a race war going with the blacks and the cops. Nope, not going to happen. Nope, I'm going to reach out to the cops. I'm going to reach out to the, the black community, and I'm going to sell freedom to both of them. And then guess what? Naturally. Each group is going to be able to see all oh, the other ones for liberty and freedom. That's what we have in common. And we're going to unite together around liberty and freedom. And that's what, going to, that's what Chip and Freedom is going to be there for. That's what Long Holland for Liberty Show is going to be there for. And it's all going to be freaking, um, no, we're going to be, be making money um, with uh, Ship and Freedom trucking. So, you know, rather than having to, you know, get donations to put up billboards or whatever for um, freedom messages or whatever that uh, I've heard some groups talk about. Oh, yeah, it'd be awesome to bring and put billboards up for freedom. Well, no, why? It's like $500 a fucking month for a billboard or $1,000 a month in freaking high traffic areas or even more. No, dude, it's a waste of money. You know, we created a... Um, environment where we can have an even bigger billboard 53 feet of freaking trailer space and we're making money doing it and we're making money doing it we're getting paid to spread messages rather than having to buy and just waste money the longevity of that's going to be um long too because obviously the money's going to run out at some point where are you you, you know Somebody who is going to be putting up billboards or whatever, you know, freaking buying, um, you know, for freaking printing, for flyers, to hand out door to door if people are going to do that. It's all just freaking waste of money, just money going out and not money coming in. Well, we've created a way for money to come in and promote liberty and freedom. So the longevity of it is a lot longer because we have an established business of income, money coming in. We're going to be using that money as a tool to uh, promote messages for freedom. We're going to have memberships for each of the um, you know, groups so people can be a member of the you know, I mean, Trumps for Freedom thing or the Inner Cities for Freedom thing. We're going to have memberships for all that. Um, different levels of membership. They are know more uh more per month um and we're gonna be selling t-shirts and products and hoodies and all that stuff to all bring in money to all gonna all, that's that's all gonna be used to further this trucking company and further hire people and further the cause for liberty we're getting it dude we're fucking getting this shit hardcore in your motherfucking face we're bringing freedom to everybody's goddamn doorstep but people are too goddamn scared to do. Nope, we're not. And hopefully there's people out there who are not scared like us. And hopefully there's people out there who are going to uh, take the take the leap of faith, like I said, and you know figure out a way, make whatever sacrifice that they need to, to get from where they are at their dead-end job or whatever, to being able to get in a position where they could get paid for freedom and liberty. To, to sell freedom and liberty, to promote freedom and liberty, to spread freedom and liberty. 
figure out a way to do it and let's fucking rock. Let's rock and roll. Because we need to we need to seriously take this up a notch. And and like I said before, I'm gonna be a drill sergeant for people to begin drilling this in people's heads and hopefully beginning to motivate people to um to actually get up off their ass and create something themselves. Either join me and freaking unite with me under Long Hauling for Liberty and Ship and Freedom and all that stuff and freaking help me do my own thing or create your own stuff. I really don't care which. But it's time that we all take the, the leap of faith to begin to um, merge the two and begin to actually sell freedom and, and use money as a uh, tool for good and for freedom. So with that being said, uh, I think I'm going to end this video right here and uh, begin working some more on the website, shippingfreedom.net. I think I'm going to keep .net. At first, I was pissed because somebody had .com, and I wanted .com. I mean, somebody else has it. It's a freaking you know, gay website. It's not even you know remotely um, you know, put together right. It's probably never even been used. Somebody just has that domain name, shippingfreedom.com. But I think I like shippingfreedom.net. Uh, not too many people are using .net. It's different. It's our, our, our own identity rather than just everybody.com, you know, blah, 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 dot com. It's, it's going to be different and noticeable, and it's going to stand out more. So I think we'll keep .net. I think, um, I think that's what we're, that's what we're going to do. I talked with Nick, too, about it. And uh, I think he's on board keeping .net. So we might keep .net, shippingfreedom.net. So that's what I'm going to be doing uh, for the rest of tonight is getting uh, getting some more website stuff done. So, oh, man, listen, take the leap of faith. It's not that hard. I mean, don't be, don't be afraid to work. I mean, you, I mean, obviously, my other brother and I with the shipping freedom thing, we're not, you know, a freaking – you know, Swift company, we're not a multi-billion dollar company. We're just getting going and it's taking some time to get up and running and to really begin to make some money and stuff. Whatever, man. Enjoy the journey. It, it ain't that hard. Working is not that hard. Working is not that scary. So get up and do it. All right. Peace out.